All right, so hiking around, we've been up a fairly big hill. Still a lot of ups and downs, but um, I feel like the terrain hasn't been as challenging as it was the last couple days. It's also much cooler this morning, thank God, but, uh, and yeah, going good. The place we stayed at last night, I believe is called the Franciscan uh, Monastery. And uh, yeah, nice little place. They had a party going on there this morning, so they were setting up as uh, we were leaving, but yeah, it's got water, porta potties, uh, charging outlets, everything, and they let you camp right on the baseball field. So it's 0.4 miles off the trail, but it's all good, you know, it is what it is. Get to recharge my stuff, so that's a plus. And uh, yeah, we're moving on. Current terrain situation right here. Not bad, not great. Going up a little uphill, so <sighs> onward we roll. All right, so just popped out of the woods. We are on top of Shenandoah Mountain. Yeah, traveled back to Virginia. Just kidding. I don't know. It's called Shenandoah Mountain. I don't know. I don't know. I don't make these names. But uh, yeah, pretty cool view. Pretty cool view. Some uh, scary impending doom looking clouds. Over that way. Also over this way. So yeah. There was a chance, a good chance for rain all day. It's held off for the moment, but I don't know. We'll see. USA, in case you forget what country you're in. All right, good morning, people. Um, I made it all the way 19 miles yesterday to the RPH shelter. Um, it's over there, but you can't really see it. Um, it's almost like a house. So, pretty cool shelter. I obviously tent it out. Um, and it's pouring, and it's supposed to do this all day long. Um, so, my plan was to aim for 16. There was a shelter, another one at 9. Or one at 16, so we're gonna play it by ear today, see what happens. Um, probably will not record much, if anything, throughout the day, um, just so I don't destroy the camera any more than it already is. <sighs> so, I don't know, we'll see. I'll try to keep it updated, and then, you know, I'll see if I get some spots here and there where I can record some stuff. So, packing up, heading out into the wet. So, in a somewhat delightful change of events, the rain actually stopped, and I, it looks like it may be stopped for the day. Um, it's supposed to be cloudy, maybe a passing shower here and there, but the bulk of the rain is supposedly done. But we're up from the shelter now, passing under the highway here, and we're going up another little climb. Let's do it. We've been moving along all day, making good time. It's uh, almost five, which is kind of crazy. <laughs> uh, we didn't start hiking today until like 11.30, 12. Waited for the rain to die off, and it did, which is nice. And um, yeah, we were able to make some mileage, though it should be about 17 miles if I make it to the shelter. I'm planning to which is, uh, I think it's called the Telephone Worker Shelter or something. So we're uh, rolling along pretty good. Terrain, not too bad today. So give you a little look at the trail. You can see this is what we're currently facing. There have been some uh, pretty sizable up and downs too. Um, a lot more rocky than this. Most of the day has been much more rocky than this. We're in a kind of flatter section near a couple lakes and stuff. So. The bugs are back, for sure. So, gonna push on, of three and a half miles. Guter Morgen, people. I am uh, half asleep still, and it's 10, it's already 10 o'clock. 
Uh, it's getting later and later. Anyways, I'm wearing a sweatshirt right now and it goosebumps. It's like 50 degrees right now. <laughs> Got a little chilly uh, here in New York, Connecticut, the line. Well, almost the line. But you might be able to see down there, we are at the um, telephone, I think it's called the Telephone Worker Pioneer Shelter. And um, I stayed up in what I refer to as the East Wing here, because there's a nice little tent spot here. There's a couple more right there. Um, but cool little shelter, and uh, water is right down that way, my little rocky creek. But anyway, we're moving on today. Um, managed to do 17, 17 miles yesterday and I didn't leave camp till almost noon. So, felt good. Got into camp a little late, 7.30ish, but whatever, it is what it is, we made the miles. So, heading out today, don't know how far I'll go. Um, my main goal is to get to Great Barrington, Mass um, on Saturday at some point, and that's mile 1520, I think. Don't quote me on that, but I will be having a surprise visitor. It's not really a surprise, it's actually my girlfriend. So, <laughs> she'll be, uh, the plan is to meet up this weekend, so. Uh, Massachusetts native, so makes sense, you know? Not, not driving hours and hours and hours, so. Anyways, we'll move on today. See where the day takes us. You may recall a while back I posted, I think it was in Virginia, um, a big old oak tree I reckon it was. I said it was the second largest. I believe this guy, look at this thing, is, this, is the largest on the AP. So supposedly a 20 foot by 4 inch girth. <laughs> Man, he's gigantic. Let's go take a closer look. So just to give you an idea of the size of this thing, it's huge, man. Huge. there we had been seeing signs for this food truck for forever and we finally found it the uh, Appalachian Railroad crosses right there and the food truck parks right off the little local highway here opens at 11 we were the first customers <clears throat> that burger and fries papas fritas delicioso it was so good so I'm fueled up happy it's kind of cold out still but we're moving again, heading uphill. Uh, then over, it looks like some ridge line or something. I don't know, <laughs> figure it out. But we're in farmland again, enjoying the day. Proceeding on with the day, some uh, pretty good climbs. I feel like I'm just achy from the past two days. I've pushed uh, some higher mileage than I probably should have, but but we made it, we made it to another, another wonderful, wonderful milestone. We're in Connecticut, Ow! back in New England, my home country. That's a Boston radio station joke, but anyway, I'm back in Connecticut, in New England. It feels good, man, it feels good. And uh, in just a couple miles, well, a couple, I mean like, 70 something I think I will be in Massachusetts again my actual home state so ah, it feels good it feels good apparently we do cross back and forth a little between New York and uh, Connecticut again for the next I think 10 miles or so and uh, yeah it's awesome though ah, another state down feels good man feels good Oh, 
Not a little milestone we're passing today. Two thirds. Two thirds of the way done. Woo! Ah, two thirds. And yeah, so there's like 700 more miles to go. Ugh. <laughs> we'll power on. Jukatadin. Morning, everybody. It's beautiful out today. Next morning. We are at Shikahakatikikok Sh Sh <laughs> Mountain Campfire. Yeah, yeah. What is it? Right there. I don't even know if you can see that, but it's like Shikatakatoki Mountain Campsite. Anyways, it was like a 17 mile day yesterday. Not too bad though. Um, got up here. Fairly good time, so especially for not starting till 10. Lazy dude. It's 9 today, so 9.30, oh my god, it is almost 10. So we're doing a little bit better, but today is supposed to be one of the nicest days in a long time. It's supposed to be mid-70s and sunny all day. It's beautiful out right now, so we'll push on. See where we can get today. Aiming for 17, where there's another tent site. Um, I may have to stop in Kent, Connecticut, to get a couple uh, food items, because I do not have enough food to get me to Saturday, so... We'll see. Maybe I'll stop there or maybe I'll wait and end up in another town somewhere else. And play by ear. So we swung into Kent, Connecticut for a little resupply and I uh, did that at the gas station. There's no real grocery store here I don't think, but stopped at the Panini place which you may be able to see behind me. Um, phenomenal food. Definitely come by here and hooked me up with a free gelato because I'm a hiker. I also bought three sandwiches, but she told me on the first one, so... <laughs> so, we're back out on the trail, mile and a half added on to the day from walking back and forth into Kent, but I think it was worth it. have enough, more than enough I should, to get me uh, until Saturday when I get in town again. And uh, yeah, cute little town I suppose. Um, it looks pricey. It looks expensive. I don't know if it is. Maybe it is. I'm pretty sure if one of the hotels or the inns there was like $250 a night or something. What? <laughs> Out of my league. But, uh, yeah, anyway, we're heading in. Um, got a little bit of a climb. I think it's like 600 feet or something right up. We'll see how it goes. Been back on the trail for a little while since town. And, uh, we're climbing up. There's a very, uh... We climbed up a hill and then there's a big hill on top of the hill. So, <laughs> we're climbing up the hill on top of the hill, but I'm pretty sure there's some sort of mistake here. We're going up this way. We just came from that way. There's a switchback. What? <laughs> there's a switchback to New England? What? <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I'm pretty thankful for it. <laughs> but unexpected. And I genuinely thought there was almost an error. Anyway, continuing on. Mm -hmm. 